What is going on guys? Today we are back with another Hydro Power video and today we are going to try something I've never done before. We are going to attempt to break the power record twice in one video and the way we're going to do this is by first we're going to change our pulley ratio. Last video we had a 30, 40, 60, and 80 tooth pulley and in this video we now have a 40, 60, 80, and 100 tooth pulley. So what this means is our final drive ratio is going to go from 4 to 1 to 5 to 1 which will give us a 25% increase on the speed on this motor. And this motor right here is a Flipski 6374 140 kV motor. And the second way we're gonna try and break this record is by swapping out to this motor. This is a Flipski 7070 110 kV motor. And this is a slightly beefier motor. It has a little bit larger diameter and it is also a lower kV value rating. And what this means is given an RPM, so say a thousand RPMs on this motor and a thousand RPMs on this motor, this one would produce more voltage and that's due to the lower KB value. So we get a little bit more amps and hopefully a little bit more volts and that in theory should give us more power. So we're going to run through the test because if you've seen my last video, we got all the way up to the, the 80 tooth pulley. So we're going to jump right into the 100 tooth pulley, try and break the record off the bat and then we're gonna swap over and see how this motor compares. We're gonna use the same heaters and an additional one if needed, and just kind of run through like we always do. So let's go over and see how it does. Yeah, if we don't, if you guys don't like, comment, and subscribe though, that's gonna be dinner. So do me a favor, hit that like, comment, subscribe button for me. 74, 79, 84, 94. Let's grab that other tester because what it claims to be is it claims to be a MPPT. Uh, so what it does is basically it finds the perfect sweet spot of maximum output of this motor. So we're gonna connect it and see how it does. But man, this thing's a workout to hold. All right, instead of having the power analyzer you know, behind me on the ground and all the heaters, it simplifies to just the two wires that go into the solar panel tester. And you can see right here, it has a couple modes, but you need 12 volts at minimum to turn it on, I think. So I think we're getting about 13. So we're gonna try this, see how it does. And this is the same setup. So this might just be a little bit more efficient way of testing. So. Let's see if the power is the same or maybe a little higher. Well, I guess 
that in itself is a quite a new power record. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical, but I mean, I guess it's the power analyzer. Leave your comments below. I'm gonna stick with my current 99, which is a real letdown currently, but we're gonna swap over, see how that does, and then we're gonna test again and see what kind of power we get. Because, I mean, I, I believe that this motor absolutely could be making that much power. It's just, I mean, that's, it's a pretty big jump from the little heaters, but you know, right now, you can only make it about as much power as those heaters can put out. Gotta put one on and make sure it doesn't come off. You should see what I do to the motors that don't work. Alright, we've got everything hooked up. We now have the 7070, which is a slightly larger motor, and we are down to the 40 tooth and the 20 tooth. So that should give us a two to one. Wow. Oh, 
and it's springing. So when I go to do it, it's like twisting and stopping. You pretty much just have to dump it in there. So I do think I'm gonna try and do it on this next pulley and see what we can get in there. But I think it's gonna jump around too much. Or there's just gonna be too much torque. Like, oh. like I said, but I'll swap it over try and do it and if we can absolutely shatter that record that'd be awesome but i think i'm gonna have to reinforce this cable or change to a different material to get it to work better so i'll see you guys in a second I mean, sorry, what? We are back to test the last pulley on here, that 100 tooth pulley. And the reason I say back is because, well, this last video, I got a little bit too excited when we hit that 104 power record. And I packed it up, went home to edit, and realized, well, we never tested the last one. So we're gonna throw it over. It is a week later, but we've had a little bit of rain, so it should be pretty much the same. So hopefully we're gonna break this power record for the third time in one video. So let's see how it does. 52, Cable almost caught you right in the face. Oh! It hit 109. 109. Yeah. So we broke the power record again. That's on two heaters. Almost broke my face. I almost broke your face. The cable is twisted. This is what I was saying. There's a ton of torque, and if you guys know cable, how much it takes to literally, like, I mean, this is a permanent bend. I, I think. I'm so glad I've drove collectively four hours over the past two days to come down here and do this in two minutes. But this goes to show you how much torque's on there and that we were able to make more power. So one of the things that I'm thinking is if we added the third heater, it would have more amperage, but it would spin slower, so less voltage. So we probably are kind of finding that sweet spot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything, but we're down here, so I'm gonna try and connect that solar panel tester, but hey, we broke it for a third time. 109, I heard 106 before, but 109. Yeah. So we broke it for a third time, which is awesome. We're gonna have to be beefing up uh, our cable. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are for this, because I mean, like, this is pretty good. I'm not even mad. I'm, I'm actually genuinely impressed that we did this to the cable. So no one got hurt, it's always a good day. Let's try one more time. Let's just see if it's, before I even switch to that other one, I, I think we're... It's, as much as I want to, and it probably might work a little bit, it's not safe to test like this, guys, so... Unfortunately, I have no way to cut this cable while I'm here, but... Let's go over there, do an outro, and wrap it up. Alright, guys. Well... We did break our power record, not twice, but three times in this video. And unfortunately with this cable like this, like I said, it's just not safe to test and continue anymore. But this in itself is pretty impressive. If you've ever messed with cable, it, it takes a lot of force to permanently bend or twist cable like that. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. How can we improve this? And your thoughts on the solar panel tester, because while we weren't able to in this configuration, if that thing is accurate, you know, that absolutely blows away our heater test video. So. Let me know what you guys think and if there's anything you want to see more or change on the pulley gearbox itself let me know and make sure to check out this video if you guys want to see how i built this and kind of how it works so thanks thanks again i'll see you in the next one